be. There's going to be somebody else besides us, right? You guys didn't all just wake up for, for no, that's Sean for you. Xander. Bullshit. Welcome to another edition of Death or Glory. We're sitting down today with Xander Schlotz, who you might know as a member of the Weirdos, Circle Jerks, and Thelonious Monster, or recognized from his roles in Repo Man and Sid and Nancy. Today, Xander's brought along his little friend from the Salt and Sea, Mr. Sean Wheeler. As a member of Throw Rag, Charlie Horse, and Zizo Zizi Zafrak and the Doom Buggy Attack Battalion, <laughs> Sean is a low desert institution. Or was he institutionalized in the low desert? Well, which is it? Institution. Yeah, I am the other desert city's favorite son. Make no mistake. Dude, my ex-wife used to go to church with the family, and I'm gonna stay home. I crawl up in. I crawl up in the the top of the house. What is it? The cellar. Attic. The attic. All fiberglass. I get up there, and you know those little vents in the house. Shoot speed and just try to peek on my neighbor undressing for hours, jerking off up there in the fucking with the uh, fiberglass and everything. Every once in a while, she'd walk by the bathroom window like this fast. Oh! So uh, we divorced. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it together. And uh, she has a party. She brings this ugly dude over. He feeds the neighbor's wife some wine and he's boning her in the hot tub <laughs> that night. I'm like, dude. I've been in the attic jerking off to this woman I can't see for how long now. And Harry Dino with the receding hairline comes over, <laughs> feeds her a couple of cocktails, and is getting laid. It dates back to huffing my stepmom's panties. Oh, so Jesus. I'm all I can. Xander had a friend he grew up with. He used to suck his thumb through his mom's panties in St. Louis. <laughs> How <laughs> gross is that, dude? No, seriously, dude. Like, it's like this kid. It's like, every, you know, you have a little security blanket or something like that. But this kid, and I was like, I, I remember thinking, like, I'm four or five years old. Dude, you're not supposed to suck your mom through your, your, your mom's, I mean, your, your thumb through your mom's dirty panties. It's disgusting. I'm wired better than That's that. weird. Yeah, you're somewhere in between that kid and Harry Dino is where Sean Wheeler lives. I live in the middle. Obviously, we're feeling comfortable with you now. <laughs> Absolutely. I think you've got us. You can do anything you want with us now. Absolutely. The only reason I brought I was up in the Juicy Bananas. Uh-huh. Come again? See? Again. Homework, bro. See, but I got Thelonious Monster. <laughs> got no, that the one. Juicy Bananas was uh, a band that I was in down in South Central. When I first got to Los Angeles, um, I was in a, in a funk band. We called it funk back then because there was no such thing as like hip hop or. It was basically like, uh, you know, uh, me, like. The, like kind of like a blonde afro, wide lapel, and like polyester suits, kind of like what I am today, <laughs> playing guitar in an all black band. And my first concert ever in Los Angeles was the Watts Tower Festival. I actually met the drummer in 7 Eleven the, the, uh, the night before, and I was like, I saw his drumsticks. I'm like, dude, you're a musician, you're a drummer? He's like, yeah. I said, well, I'm a musician too. And uh, he says, what kind of music do you play? And I said, well, what kind of music do you play? He says, funk. I said, oh, yeah. He says, what kind of music do you play? I said, funk. So he said, come on down tomorrow to, to, to South Central to my garage and practice for the show that we're going to do. It. I got there, and uh, they were done rehearsing. They said, well, don't worry about it. Let's just go to the show. So I get in the, in the car with these guys, and we, we get to the, to the, the park, and it's, it's the Watts Tower Festival. And I'm the only white dude there. They're screaming, get off the stage, honky. Fuck. No, they weren't. Yes, they were. What year was this? Get the fuck off the stage, honky. No, they weren't. Yes, they were, dude. Really? Yeah. It was like uh, 1981 or something like that. After I played, people were patting me on the uh, back and saying, funny. you're pretty good ask for a up. white boy. And you're okay. Uh, Carrie Barber, is that her name? That did the Circle Jerks logo? Well, that logo was actually a picture of me as a, as a young boy. But then I'm sent to prison, and the Circle Jerk still my image and create a punk band. But I am Skank Boy, and I come home from prison, and we get rid of Keith Morris and me and the remainders of the Circle Jerks. We put Skank Boy together. And, I like and, it. And we set the record straight. And we have songs like, I hate you, I hate you. I fucking hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Why do I hate you? I don't know. I fucking hate you. And, uh, where are the other songs? 
bacon and cheese burrito, bacon and cheese. Yeah. I we like could it. do the mutual hatred hit. Kill the whale, watch him die, ignite his blubber and make him fry. Green pea sucks. Green pea sucks. Turtle meat, I love to eat. I thrash and beat for turtle meat. Green pea sucks. Green pea sucks. Kill the seal, take his pelt, chop it up into a kill. Green pea sucks. Green pea sucks. Green pea sucks. Green pea sucks. That was my first song in my first punk band. So I think it might be your best song. It might be. It I was, love that it song. It might be your I best really song. It was so, Xander, how did you end up playing with Joe Strummer? Because I saw you play with Joe Strummer at the Coach House. Did you? Yes. Wow. Um, I, uh, from working on Repo Man, I, I did music as well for, for Alex's films. Um, so I met Joe actually in London when I was doing uh, music for the film Sid and Nancy. Um, and um, we were working on the score separately. And then we both acted in another Alex Cox film called Straight to Hell in, in Spain. And that's when we did our first uh, collaboration. Uh, uh, and that, that was uh, the Wiener song in Straight to Hell. I don't know if you've ever, ever seen Straight to Hell or heard this song. I saw parts of Straight to Hell. But it's a co-write. It's a Joe Strummer and, and Xander Schloss uh, co-write. Carl's Disco Wiener Tina Haven. you got to check this out. Anyway, so uh, we, uh, we did music separately for, for that film as well. So, and the Pogues did music for that film as well. And then we ended up in Nicaragua for another film called Walker, which is about American intervention in, in, in you know Central America. It was always like traveling with my guitar and picking up influences from wherever, you know, whatever country we were in. And I think Joe recognized that I was like really super curious about like music and world music and stuff like that. Um, and he he asked me to do the uh, he asked me to do the score for for Walker with him. So he had composed music and. I was his musical director and guitar player on that. And from there, we ended up uh, doing a solo album, playing live, touring, all that stuff. So. Right. And they, that was earthquake weather. That was earthquake weather. Is that a pike? I don't know. I would say it's a barracuda. It's not a barracuda. <laughs> it's definitely, I, I don't know if it's a pike, but it's definitely not a barracuda. I can pretty much go on record on that one. Have you ever seen a barracuda in the water? Have you ever swam with barracudas? No. Because they're East Coast fish. Dude, they look I don't at like you, East Coast fish. Of this. They look at you like this. And I'll show you guys. They, they look at you at the side of their fucking eyes.